Hello everybody. This evening we've brought you a pile of uh, you know, high quality microfiber mm -hmm. with uh, Mr. Anthony Fisher from the Rag Company. Thanks for How's having me, doing, Mr. Fisher. Very good. Happy to be here. Are you ready to have kind of a just nice, nice time folding these towels? A relaxing time. That's yes. right. You know, yeah. the, kind of a throwback to some classic TRC videos. Yes. With some good towel folding action. You know, we had Ivan Lacroix do it one time. It was pretty nice. So I think I think we need some high quality folding action on my channel as well. I think, I think you're right, Jamie. We're gonna talk, you know, proper towel folding techniques and maybe uh, throw out some good storage ideas as well. I, I like all those things. Yeah, and maybe sort them as well. Each kind of, uh, you know, towel has a different job. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll sort exterior, interior, that kind of deal. You ready for this? I, yeah, I couldn't be Let's ready. just dive right into this pile. Yes, yeah, let's just let's get to it. Uh, right in. So, you're starting with 245 want, there? I, I do have a nice 245. Yeah. Do you, do you like these for interiors? Um, I think they're great for interiors. I like them for um, interiors. I think they're great for uh, just a little bit of everything, really. I mean, good uh, edgeless towel. Edgeless, uh, yeah, it's 80 20 blend on that. Um, it's a low pile. It's great for, uh, you know, anything from dirty jobs to interior cleaning. Wrapping around a steamer is quite nice as well, Jamie. I, I agree. agree. I think so. Yes, very uh, good utility towel. Now, when it comes to towel snapping, you like a powerful towel snap. It's kind of hard to do with a little. 245 yeah. but, or do you like oh. just a nice gentle so i like uh or do you just skip the towel snap no i I, I do the towel snap but i do it quick and firmly so it's it's similar to this there we go okay now we're in see that just, towel snap yeah, action. You, you know you know it's pop lock and snap it right so i pop it pop. i lock it, lock it snap it that is crisp. right so, uh, and then from here, I'll just, I'll just simply do a quick uh, quick fold here on this creature edgeless here. Uh, also great for interiors, also great exteriors as well. Yes, creature edgeless um, has that dual pile. It does. So it you does. can pick which side you want to use. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of microfiber towels out there. Let's face it, you know, the rag company, we have over, at this point, 150 different types of microfiber towels. So, it is a little... Um, scary, right? People get in, it's intimidating. I mean, they get it into is. the website and they go, where do I start, right? Where do, where do I start with the snap? Where do I end with the snap? And I say, well, a couple couple key towels that you can get started with. Um, the Edgeless 365 is a fantastic towel, right? The Creature Edgeless 420, fantastic towel. Fantastic. Um, I would say that the Eagle Edgeless 500, it's a great ultra plush towel for everything exterior. I mean, you're um, not really into some TRC action until you buy some Eagles. Yeah, you got it. I mean, that's flagship towel. Flagship, a staple towel in our you're lineup. Um, that's Multiple what we're colors. most known for. Um, and then drying towels, right? Huge, huge part of the detailing process. You have to have high quality drying towels. We have a few here. What do we have here? You know, this is the gauntlet right here. So this bad boy, 70-30 blend. It's got our own patented weave design here on this, which looks like a checkerboard. We do have two, two colors, right? So basically you get one towel, you get two colors for free. So we have this dark, yeah. amazing gauntlet gray. We also have this nice ice gray on the other side wrapped with a 70-30 suede um, edge here. It's a Butter black salt portion. suede edge. You can't beat it. I like nice. the little wipers on the gauntlets. You know, you have these oh, little, yeah. little yeah. wiper blade action. Make sure there's no uh, kind of streaks left behind. Picks up all that water. It's, ex it's uh, exactly you, what that is. When you drive a vehicle, do you like the pat dry or do you like the pool? So technique. Jamie, it kind of depends on the day of the week, right? On day Monday, week. Mondays and Tuesdays, I think, man, I kind of want to drag dry this, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe on a Wednesday and Thursday, maybe I want to crinkle dry it. And then maybe on a Friday, I'm a blot, I'm a blotter. I'm a blot situation. Yeah. I just want to sit there and just blot, blot, blot mm -hmm. all those spots. Take, your, take some right? time to enjoy the process. Exactly. And so when it comes to uh, microfiber, you know, drying towel folding, mm -hmm. for this, you have to decide are you more of a hot dog or hamburger style person? And that's that's huge to kind of figure that out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Dig deep down inside yourself and you say, do I like hot dogs? I like a hot dog. You like a hot dog? You do? So then I'll show you a quick demonstration of a hot dog fold. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna go ahead and pinch that right up at that halfway point there, right? So that's gonna be a traditional hot dog fold. Then the real question is, do you want a double hot dog, right? Do you want a hot dog in each hand, right? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's switch it up and throw in a hamburger. So I'm gonna go from a hot dog to a hamburger, fold that in half, and now I'm left with 
a hot dog hamburger. There you go, hot dog hamburger. Combo. So it's a combo, but what I want to do from here is, let's just say I want another hamburger on top of that. I'll go ahead and fold that, and I have this beautiful, beautiful. fold here. That's like a new one. On this gauntlet drying cow. Now, not to make things weird, right? Maybe you want to throw in a taco with your hot dog and hamburger. Not right? make it weird. Maybe you do. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to roll the towel now up into a little taco. And that taco actually ends up creating a burrito, which doesn't really make sense. But that's kind of the whole point of this, right? This video may even not make sense, but I think it makes at, perfect sense. Look at that beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful gauntlet right there. I'm yep. just going to set that aside. And I've been over here. The gauntlet comes in multiple sizes. I like this little bitty one for uh, wheel faces. Try yeah. your wheels off at the end. Absolutely. Little, you use a little bead maker action. Yep, that is the wheel size. Yeah. And uh, one thing I like about that is it's very manageable, right? Some people get, again, intimidated by larger towel sizes. That is going to keep things real, right? Yeah. Getting that nice small size there. Uh, we also have uh, another one another here. One. Yep. And if you want to experiment with different towel folding, um, are you a big Doritos fan? I love a Dorito. I like nacho cheese, Cool All Ranch. Right. I, I figured you for a Cool Ranch guy. I'm more I am of a Cool a, Ranch guy, yeah. I'm a spicier nacho guy, and I'm also a big fan of the Salsa Verde. So I'll go ahead and just flip this over here. And what do we have? We have a Dorito fold. Dorito fold. And so this is another way that you can present That's your good. towels. Very aesthetically pleasing, and it also makes for a, gr a great hat. I'll be darn. Check that out. And speaking of, of drying towels, we have the new leader of the wolf pack here, the dryer wolf. This thing is huge. It is. So uh, let me see if I can get this bad boy folded. I don't like to get too fancy with really. it. Don't bite off kinda... more than you can yeah. chew, Jamie. Am leader I right? Wolf pack. You want to just kind of get it folded and get it into place. Get it into place. That's actually oh, that's a perfect, beautiful fold here. I'm gonna throw on. This creature over here, we got to flip the other way. A variety of towels, and uh, there's your, there's your some proper towel folding technique. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, where do we like? To, I like to store these in my husky cabinets, but where do you, Mr. Fisher, like to store your high quality microphone? I have totes, and so what I do is you I like do plastic tote guy. I'm a plastic tote guy. I like my towels pure. I like to keep any type of debris contamination away, and mm -hmm. as nice as my husky cabinets are, mm -hmm. right. I don't know what's in them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's coming around. They get a little there, distant, right? They get a little distant, and um, I can't keep an eye on them. And that's where a nice, clear tote. Not yep. only can I see them in prison, yep, I know that they're staying pure. And so that's kind of the whole point. And so my my totes are sealed, and I feel like that's one of the best ways. But maybe you're using your towels often, such as Jamie. Mm -hmm. You can fold them up, throw them in your husky cabinet, and pull from them as needed. Yep. This is oddly relaxing. Just being here, talking towels. Yes folding towels into unique things. Maybe a swan Dorito. in the next video. We have Dorito here. Hamburger. Hamburger. And we have- Kind of turned into a, a burrito. We have a, it's a, it was, Jamie, it was, a, it was a, a hot dog hamburger taco burrito. It's a four step. It's a but four step. we got there. We got there. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed some nice, tranquil towel folding action with some uh, storage tips. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah, no problem. See you guys. <laughs>